Hey guys, today I have a Live Love Polish haul to share with you. In this particular purchase, I picked up one glitter topper, four hollows, and two more jelly-based polishes. The first thing I actually want to talk about is the packaging, because that can really make or break it for me in regards to whether or not I choose to reorder from a particular company or stockist. So when you first receive your order, it actually comes in a regular cardboard box, but when you open it, this super cute pink box is revealed. When you open the pink box, this adorable stay sparkly message is printed on the inside of the top flap, and then this really great styrofoam is contained inside. I love the cutouts because they really do fit any size of polish bottle, and I feel like the items contained inside are actually protected. I don't necessarily have a preference to this type of packaging over bubble wrap, but this does make me feel like the company has gone the extra mile and puts an effort into their shipping so as to keep everything safe until it arrives at my door. The styrofoam is a bit newer compared to previous orders I've received, which I think further demonstrates the effort that goes into their packaging. But even when it came in a regular box and was bubble wrapped, it was wrapped really well, so I've never had any concerns with that. My packages have also always contained these super cute cards and on the inside is always a little note. I just think it's such a nice personalized touch that really does make a difference, especially if it's your first time buying. You can see in this one that I was complimented for my choice of polish. So let's get into the haul. The first polish is from Cirque Colors and it's called XX or Double X. And this is a pastel glitter bomb containing holographic silver and gold glitters in hexes, squares, and diamonds, and metallic glitters in lavender, aqua green, pink, and light blue hexes. For those of you who are not as familiar with Cirque Colors, this is a boutique brand. Cirque also sends all of their nail polishes in these individual boxes. I personally don't keep them just because I find that the packaging takes up a lot of space, but it is a nice touch if you're someone who enjoys those. So here's a bottle shot, and I'm actually really excited for this one. I've wanted it for so long, and I just never took the plunge and got it. I'm not really sure why, because I, I think it's beautiful, and I'm really excited to use it. The consistency seems really good, too. The next polish is from A England, and this is called Jane Morris. This is like a darker gray holographic, but it's a very subdued holographic. It's definitely not like in your face or anything like that, which is one of the things I really like about it. And it also seems to have like a purple like shift or flash to it. So that definitely makes it unique in my collection. So here are some bottle shots. Anyone who knows me knows that I love basically any sort of gray, so I'm really excited for this one. And I've never had an A England that I didn't like. They all have really fantastic formulas, and at least all of the ones that I have cover in two coats. The next polish is from A England as well, and this is called Wuthering Heights, which is a really soft, dusty purple holographic. Again, I've never met an A England that I didn't like, and even though this is pretty out of my comfort zone, I think I'm really going to enjoy it. This is another one that I've been eyeing for a while and just never picked up. Next is a polish from Picture Polish called Bridget, and this is a warm red base with a scattered holographic. The holographic particles in here are actually a bit bigger than what I'm used to seeing, and that's actually what makes it unique in my collection because this picks up the light really well. As you can imagine, this is another one that I've been eyeing and just finally decided to grab it while I could because this tends to sell out and it's hard for me to find in stock anywhere where I have access to it. I also really love red polish, so I think this is going to be a real hit for me. Next is also from Picture Polish, and this is called Winter, and this is what I would say is like a medium gray with a scattered hollow, and it also has silver and gold flakes in there. The flakes are really small, but definitely still noticeable. Again, love my grays, so I had to have this one. The little dash of gold flakes in here on top of the silver and the hollow kind of warms it up a little bit, so even though it is a gray color, which tends to be very cool, I think that's really what makes this one a little bit different and I've seen it on many different skin tones and it looks flattering on everybody.
Next, also by Picture Polish, is called Sapphira or Sapphira, and this is a dark blue jelly base loaded with small holographic glitters and flakies, as well as larger holographic silver hexes. I have been staring at this polish for so long. This is truly one of those like quote unquote mermaid shades that everybody looks for, and the depth in this is just amazing. I'm probably most looking forward to putting this one on my nails. I don't have anything that looks even remotely close to this one. And the very last polish I picked up, also from Picture Polish, is called Cabaret. And this is like a dark wine colored jelly base with larger holographic hex glitters in there. And the hex glitters are definitely more sparse than they are in the other polishes that I've shown you. If you can't tell by now, Picture Polish is one of my favorite brands. This is also more of a boutique brand, and I just think they have some of the most unique polishes, especially since a lot of them are collaborations with bloggers. This is another one where I just don't have anything like it, and it's a little bit out of my comfort zone, so I'm looking forward to seeing how much I like this one. I think Live Love Polish is an amazing company. I've been ordering from them for almost a year now and my experience has been better with each purchase. From the small dose of interaction I've had with them, it's apparent that they also have a fantastic customer service team, which makes a huge difference for me. I've personally never had any issues with my order or receiving incorrect or broken items. If you live in the United States and you're looking for a good stockist for more boutique and indie brands, I think this is definitely your best bet. So that's it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please like, subscribe, and continue to share my channel within the community. Feel free to let me know in the comment section below what your favorite polish was and if you enjoyed this style of video. I'll talk to you next time. Bye guys.